Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine. Very good. Uh, so you're driving, Daniel? Yes. Okay. I'm sorry, but you are going to your house in this moment? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, that's perfect. Okay. All right. Hi, Irma. Microphone. Yes. <laughs> How are you, Irma? I'm very fine. And you? Nice. Very well. Thank you. Are you working? Yes. Yes. I yes. see your background. Okay. Hello, Javier. Hello, teacher. Good night. How are Hello, you? Good evening. Fine. How are you? I'm very good. Nice. It's good to see you. Almost. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. We're about to finish the module, right? Yes. 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 Uh, two days. Two days is right. So today is over, basically. So two more days and we finish. Yes. <laughs> That's right. Okay. In, the, in the next module, what is the start? Mm, I don't have a date right now, but I imagine it will be after vacation. Ah, okay. Yes, they will give you a date. I don't know if they have sent emails. No sé si les han mandado correos de cuando empieza el siguiente, ¿no? Yes. No, no, solo que no. Yes, and um, 38. On the 38. April 38. Good, uh, good evening, teacher. 28. Uh, April? April uh, 18. 18. 18. Yes. yes, so it will be after vacation, is correct. Será después de vacaciones, entonces, it will be after vacation then. Ah, okay. Good evening. Yeah. Sorry. Hello. It's okay. Hello. Don't worry. Good evening. <laughs> Don't worry. All right. Hello, Maho. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How do you feel today? Mm, my day is very cool. Oh, nice. Little... That's little little stress a little stress little, little tired little oh my goodness i'm sorry i'm sorry about that. it's normal right so after a day of work it's normal to be stressed tired sometimes don't worry it's normal <laughs> teacher yeah tell you me are uh, at the next uh, level you you are the teacher i hope oh. i hope so okay normally normally uh the the same teacher continues, right? Because I remember, uh, I remember last time I started a module and I had the module like until I quit. Okay, so it's is the same teacher for all the modules, I think. Okay, thank yeah. you. All right, no problem. Okay, so we are about to start. So I have few people today. Ya se ven, venido el fin de semana y la vacación, veo bien poquitos este día. I see a few people today. Okay, so let me pass the attendance quickly because it's my obligation to do it, okay? So, Aida. Claudia. Daniel. is driving, right? Yes. Uh, Doris. Present. Good. Ellen Nielsen, Elsie, present teacher, Harrison, Irma, present teacher, yes, she's connected, I just talked to her, Irving, present, yeah, Javier, present teacher, Mayra, present teacher, Milton, Okay, Lenisa. Rafael. Santos. I am here, teacher. Very nice. Sara. Present, teacher. Ulises. Present, teacher. Walter. 
Wendy. I am here, teacher. Nice. Jessica. Hazel. Mauricio. Maho. Present, teacher. And Carla. No, not present. Okay, everyone. Uh, so uh, welcome to today's class. Uh, bienvenidos a la clase de este día. Welcome to today's uh, class. And well, for today, uh, we will study a very common and somehow complicated uh, topic, okay? You will see in a moment. Uh, but before we go there, antes de ir ahí, before we go there, um, I have a question, okay? And the question I have is, what are your plans for Sunday? What are your plans for Sunday? All right. In my case, if you ask me, Bernardo, what are your plans for Sunday? In my case, I am going to go to church. I am going to go to church. I am going to play soccer and I am going to go fishing. All right, three plans. If you ask me again, Bernardo, Bernardo, what are your plans for Sunday? One, I am going to uh, go to the church. Two, I am going to play soccer. Three, I am going to go fishing. All right, three plans I have. What are your plans for Sunday? All right. ¿Cuáles son sus planes para el domingo? So please, write three plans. Escriban tres planes. Write three plans. And you will say, I am going to. I am going to play soccer. I am going to visit my family. I am going to eat with my family. I am going to uh, make breakfast. I don't know, all right? So please write three plans you have for Sunday. Write three plans you have for Sunday. And say, I'm going to, okay? The topic we studied yesterday. Is it clear? Yes. Yes, sir. Right. Okay, very nice. So let me write the question here for you. The question is That's a question, okay? What are your plans for Sunday? How are you going to answer? For example, you can say, I'm going to play soccer, all right? That's one example, all right? So vamos a usar la estructura, I'm going to, Y luego el verbo y luego el complemento. I'm going to play soccer. You can say, for example, I'm going to go to the beach. I'm going to visit family. I'm going to work. All right. So I'm going to hang out with friends. Okay. I'm going to. Three plans only, all right? Three plans only.
Are you ready? Yes, three sure. plants only, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so the question is, what are your plans for Sunday, okay? Please write the question. What are your plans for Sunday? What are your plans for Sunday? So that's the question. What are your plans for Sunday? That's the question we have for this activity, okay? Now listen carefully, listen carefully. Uh, in this moment, you will practice in groups, okay? But please listen to your classmates. Of course, imagine I practice with Javier and Elsie. I ask Javier, Javier, uh, what are your plans for Sunday? And when I listen to Javier, I take notes, okay? I take notes about Javier activities, all right? I take notes about Javier's activities. For example, imagine I ask Javier, uh, Javier, uh, what are your plans for Sunday? Tell me one plan, please. Uh, I go to the practice in my new motto. Okay, so I am going to say, Javier is going to practice in his new motorcycle, all right? Javier is going to practice in his new motorcycle, right? Yes. yes. Okay, so I write Javier's activity, okay? And you take notes about your classmates' activities. Yeah? Van a tomar notas de las actividades de sus compañeros. The question is, what are your plans for Sunday? All right? And after some minutes, you will come to the, to the main session and you will report. Van a, vamos, después venimos a la sesión principal y van a reportar ustedes. No sus actividades. Las de sus compañeros. Your classmates' activities. All right? That's why it's so important to take notes. Okay? Any question? No questions? No. Oh. All right, right no, now teacher. I have nine people with cameras on. Ellen Nielsen, are you going to practice? Yes, okay, I just want, I am asking you because your camera is off and I want to make sure. Mauricio, yeah. are you going to participate? Va a participar? Just to share. Okay, uh, muy bien, les pregunto por la cámara para, para así hacer bien los equipos, okay? Daniel va manejando. Irving? Va a participar en la actividad, Sara? Yes. Yes. Okay, excellent. Okay, it's just to make sure, okay? So let's go then and practice. Let's make four teams then. So remember to take notes, please. What are your plans is the question. What are your plans for Sunday? ¿Quién nos es preguntó? Nos preguntamos así todos en grupo. Ajá. Sí. Entonces le pregunto a Mayra. Eh, Ajá. Mayra, what are your plans for Sunday? Eh, I'm going to clean my house and I'm going to have a lunch with my mother. And I'm going to visit my aunt with my mother. And I'll repeat my despacho. Sorry. I'm going to clean my house. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to have a lunch with my mother. I'm going to. I'm going to have lunch with my mother. And I'm going to visit my aunt with my mother. Okay.
Is it your mother or is Mayra? This is yes. your mother. Okay. Only that with my mother. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Tell me, please, what is the answer? What are you plan? Pero aquí no está preguntando. O sea, le estoy preguntando cómo era la pregunta. What are ah, you plan? What are what you plan are for you Sunday? Plan? ¿Cómo? What are your plans for Sunday? Ah, ok. Hoy yo pregunto. Yes. Te pregunto a Doris. Doris, what are you plan for Sunday? For Sunday is I'm going to the stadium to watch my favorite team play. I'm going to have lunch with my family. I am going to see a music event in the evening. Repeat, please. The number one. <laughs> I am going to the stadium to watch my favorite team play. Watch. Uh -huh. Watch my favorite team play. What are your team? My favorite team is the Club Deportivo Aguila. Ah. <laughs> Lo siento, Lice. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Puro algo. Ok. También. Bien dice que no hay mujer perfecta, te comprendo. <laughs> Todos tenemos errores como irle a la alianza, no te preocupes. Ay, la gala. Ok. ¿Y la tercera no, era? Eh, la tercera es, I'm going to see, see, a sick event in the, in the evening. Ok. The first is study, watch your favorite Team play. In play. Uh -huh. In team play. play. Uh -huh. Team play, not team play. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> the number two is going to have a lunch with my family. Yes. And the, the three is three. a music event in the evening. Good morning. Okay. Uh, and later, I am going. I am going go to the shopping. Okay. She going. She going to the shopping. shopping. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, finally, um, sometimes I go to the sea soccer player um, is Platense or I am go to the dinner with my mother. Mm, no le, no le no lo logré entender bien. Se, se escuchó cortado. Permítame, voy a poner los audífonos. Okay. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo dijo? Eh, and finally, que eh, sometimes I'm going to be. What the fine, soccer player? The, the finally. And sometimes, uh, sometimes, porque es algunas veces, mm -hmm. I am going to the watch the player. Mm 
Maybe you want or to say a soccer I game. Go to the... Maybe you can say a soccer game. Play with mm -hmm. the foot. Yeah. That's what yeah. I said. Soccer game. Game. Soccer game. Game. Porque lo estoy viendo así, eh, no por televisión, sino que por... Voy a la cancha a verlo. Yes, yes. You can say, I am going to see a soccer game. I am going to watch or see sí. a soccer game. Ah, entonces sí sería sí, en vez de watch. Soccer, no, no. I'm talking no, no, about sería... soccer game, not soccer player, no soccer game. Ah, ok. Entonces soccer sería, game. Majo, she's going to watch a soccer game. Exactly. Ok. Ok, eh, le preguntamos a Mauricio. Uh -huh. Sí. Mauricio, what are you going, what... Sorry, what are you playing for Sunday? Um, I'm going to visit the team marine. <laughs> I go out with my family to the park. I going out to hit my Take it mom. easy, Mauricio. Take it easy. Yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> Lo siento, me recordaba que estaba escribiendo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Repeat, repeat. I going to visit the team marine. Okay, visit the team marine. Okay. Listo? Yes. Okay. I going out with my family to the park. No, off with this. Ah, yeah, yeah, I understand. I want to... oh, oh, with oh. my family. I'm going out. My family I'm to going the park. Out. 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 Out is like see. In this case. This meeting ah, is being recorded. Sí, podemos. Pero es, es lo que le decía. Ajá, es lo que le decía, Santos, que eh, como aquí, digamos, yo tengo las respuestas suyas en ese caso, yo diría, ya no pondría I going to, sino que no, pondría no. su nombre. O ah, he. el nombre o, o he. Ajá. 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 Igual, su nombre o, o she. Igual. Por ejemplo, yo, yo le he puesto su nombre, Elsie. She visit your family. Uh, uh, she uh -huh. going to... Hello, sorry for the interruption. The idea is to use going to, ok? La idea es, es usar el tema que vimos ayer. Ok? So you will say, Santos, you need to say, Elsie is going to visit her family. Ah, uh, sí, el, el B, usando That's... el B. And be going to, exact, be going to. Uh -huh. Elsie is going to visit her family, okay? Ah, okay, okay. teacher. Yes, Santos <laughs> is going sí, to go to the park. Yeah. Ahí, eh? yeah. Uh -huh. As the idea is to use this uh, structure, okay? La idea es usar esta estructura, ¿de acuerdo? De acuerdo, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Excellent. Um, Vaya, entonces podemos practicar lo que usted decía, ¿verdad, Sam? Okay. Ya, ya estructurados, a ver cómo... Vaya, entonces le, le pregunto. Ok. Vaya, Santo. ¿What are your plans for Sunday? I am going to... I am going to... Sure. 
Mm -hmm. And I am going to visit my family. And mm -hmm. I am going to, mm -hmm. to work in my home. Ok. Vaya. Hoy me pregunta usted a mí. Mm -hmm. Ok. Elsie. What are you planning for Sunday? I'm going to visit my family. Uh, number two. I'm going to go the beach. Number three, I'm going to play soccer. Okay. Irving. Irving. Caso, Irving. Okay. Hola, Irving. hola. Hola, hola. En ese caso, yo, yo diría Elsie, por ejemplo. Por ejemplo. ¿Sí? Elsie is going to, to the beach. Uh, Elsie is going to play soccer. And... Solo que en esta de, de en la number two, I'm going to go the beach. Sería. Entonces usted diría. Go. Ajá, si le agrega allí el verbo. It's, it's ¿Cómo le quedaría? Elsie is going to the beach. To uh, go well, the beach. Maybe, uh -huh, to go. Maybe it's, what she wants to say uh, is that you need to say to go. All sir, right? Yes, to Elsie go, is going to go to the beach. Que sería el verbo, uh, to go to the beach. Elsie is going to go to the beach. Okay? Um, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Eh, Irving. Hola, hola. Diga. Se fue Irving. Vaya, eh, ¿cómo, ¿cómo quedaría entonces su, su respuesta eh, según la, las que nosotros tenemos? Eh, solo era de, lo, lo mismo de los iba a mantener. No cambiaba mucho porque no era de, de movilizarme algo para agregarle otra palabra. Eh, solo que en el caso para decir, por ejemplo, Santos, usted ahí ya le va a agregar el vi, ¿verdad? O sea, sí. el, el, ajá, ya, ahí ya sería agregarle el is, ajá. Sí, Solamente sí, ¿no? es. Uh -huh. Ok. Vale, estamos listos entonces. being recorded. Everyone, uh, well, I guess. Hi, teacher. No listen, teacher, no listen. How do you listen? Oh, you see. Yes. No teacher. No, no audio. No hay audio. Hay de Nilsan de la casa, pues. Le vamos a leer los labios. <laughs> no, please. Hello. Do you hear me? Nada? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Okay, that's perfect. Yeah, I'm sorry. Igual que el video. Me escuchan, me oyen. Yes, it's true. Okay, uh, well, thank you very much uh, for practicing. So, did you finish? Terminaron? Did you finish? Yes. Yes. So, it's time to yes. report. It's time to report. Okay? So, let's listen to... Uh, to some people, okay, reporting. Uh, let's listen first uh, to Elsie. Elsie, are you ready? 
Yes, teacher. Okay, please report. Please report. Uh, uh, report the, the my partner. Okay, yeah. Okay. Um, Santos. Um, o sea, yo le diría, teacher, ahorita solo lo que él me dijo que va a hacer. Eso yes, no that's me... right. Only oh, report, okay. report your classmates' activities. Perfect. Uh, Santos is going to the shore. Um, oh, is Santos going no. to... Excuse me. Ulises. Hello. Es que tengo un pro problema de conexión, creo yo. Ahorita, teacher, no escuché bien la indicación, la verdad. ¿Cómo es? es con con Ulises a... me toca. Yeah, yeah. Nos tocó yeah. con, con Ulises, con Doris y conmigo. Mm, I think eh, Elsie was no, with Santos. No, no. Elsie sí, sí estaba Sara con Santos. estaba con nosotros. Sí, man. sí, sí. <ríe> de verdad, sí, Mayra, no es que vi, casi no siempre sé. quedamos en el mismo grupo. <ríe> Santos is going to the shore, is going to visit your family, is going to work in your home. In my home or in his home? In my home or in his home? Elsie? Uh, you, you said Santos is going to visit your family. My family or his family? Elsie? My family or his sorry, family? Sorry, teacher, me está sacando eso. Uh, uh, your family, the Santos. My family? Or his family? I she has to. I think she has connection problems, right? Ah, uh, Elsie, si gusta, puede apagar la cámara para ver si, le, si no se le traba, para ver si escucha mejor. No. Sí, ahorita. Hice okay, eso porque. The sí, question. Eh, okay. Tengo... You are saying, okay. Elsie, Santos is going to visit your family, but your the, correct, fam the correct form is Santos is going to visit his family, su familia, su ah, familia. Okay. Real, okay? Yeah. Okay. Thank Repeat it, please. Santos is going to visit his family. Santos is going to visit his family. Exactly. Su familia de él, no mi familia. Porque si me dice your family is my family, right? No, it's his family. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. teacher. Sorry? <laughs> Uno nunca sabe si van a visitar ahí el <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's true. All right, maybe something quickly. This is for everybody because probably everybody could make the same mistake, okay? Not only for Elsie. Um, when you are talking about someone, una chica, dicen her. She is going to visit her family, okay? Su familia de ella. Su familia de ella, okay? Su familia, hablando de ella. Uh, or he is going to visit his family. Él va a visitar su familia, la familia de él, okay? His. His for Santos, her for Elsie, okay? Thank you, Elsie. Thank you very much for your participation. Now let's listen to Ulises. Okay. Ulises, please report. Okay. Um... Vamos a ver, the, the Mayra's plans for Sunday are clean your house, get along your mother, and visit your parents. The Doris plans for Sunday. Hello. My parents or her parents? No, 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 no. no. Dije, visit your parents. Yeah, my parents or her parents? Her parents, her parents. Ah, her, her, exactly, it's her. All right, it's okay, Ulysses, okay, it's, okay. Okay. it's perfect. Uh, but the idea is to use going, be going to. La idea es usar el be going to, okay? So she is going, be to, going visit to her family. Uh -huh. She is going to visit her family, yeah? For example. Puedo, puedo usar el she will también. 
Mm, in this case, no, because we have plans. Es que tenemos planes. Y cuando son planes, usamos el be going to, dijimos ayer, ¿verdad? So, she is going, going to, to visit to her family. Oh, por esa razón. Ah, usamos el be going to. She is going to. Be going. Uh, visit her family. She is going example. Yeah. Okay. Now repeat the examples, but use she is going to. Okay. Okay. The Myra's plans for Sunday are she's going to clean her house. She's going to get a lunch her mother. And she's going to visit her parents. Perfect. It's excellent. Thank you very much. All right, she's going, Thanks. maybe on the second you say she's going to have lunch, okay? She's going, she's going to, going to, to have, have, to have, to, to have, have lunch. lunch. Yes. Okay, thank you, Lisa. That's perfect. Now let's listen to another girl, Doris. Doris. Okay. Uh, plans on Sunday of Ulysses. He is going to the church. He is going to eat her family, no, his family. He is going to sleep all afternoon. What a day. <laughs> Thank you very much, Doris. Thank you. That was very good. Now let's listen to another boy, Javier. Okay. Uh, the plan for Sunday. Uh, Maho, uh, she's going to exercise each and meeting in the morning. She goes to the shopping. She goes to watch a soccer game. Excellent, that's very good. Maybe on the second you say uh, she's going to go shopping. She's going to uh, go shopping. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. To yeah. go. Okay. Thank yeah, you. to go shopping. Good, thank you very much, Javier. That was excellent. Thank you. Now let's listen to another girl. Irma. Maybe okay. You forgot your partner. Who practiced with Irma? Um, Ellen Nilsson and Wendy. Okay, so you can report Wendy's or Ellen Nilsson's activities. Is your decision. Ellen Nils. Ellen okay. Nilsson. Okay. Um, he is going to work all day long. He is going to check cars. He is going to work uh, waiting for the mission. Okay, that's excellent. I'm sorry about you, Ellen Nilsson. You are going to work all day. I'm sorry. <laughs> I am working también. Oh my, I'm sorry about you too, Irma. Thank you very much, Irma. Thank you for your Thank examples. You. That was really good. Let's listen to another boy, uh, Santos. Okay. Okay, okay. Elsie is going to visit her family. Elsie is going to go to the beach. Elsie is going to go to play soccer. Excellent. That's very good. Maybe in the last one you can say Elsie is going to play soccer. You don't need to, to say to go to play soccer. You only say Elsie is going to play soccer. Only that. Okay. Okay. Thank you. That, that was very good, Santos. Thank you very much. Okay. So just remember, okay, the idea is, the idea of this activity is to practice yesterday's topic, all right? Using be going to. So you say, he is going to, he is going to play soccer. Okay. To talk about him, para hablar acerca de un chico. He is going to play soccer. He is going to visit his family. He is going to, um, to go to the church, for example. He is going to eat with his family, okay? Uh, for a girl, para una chica decimos she. She is going to play soccer. She is going to visit her family, su familia de ella, okay? Her family, right? She is going to visit her family, okay? 
or she's going to play or to play with her children, for example, okay? Yeah? Good. Uh, well, thank you very much. Uh, I would like everybody to participate, but we don't have so much time, okay? So thank you for your uh, participation, for the ones who participated. Thank you very much. And let's go to the next activity. So look, in the next activity, I have two photos, okay? So please take a moment, like one or two minutes, and look at this photo. Look at this photo, okay? Look at the photo. Miremos la fotografía. Look at the photo. And tell me what comes to your mind when you look at this, when you see this photo. What comes into your mind when you see this photo? ¿Qué se le viene a la mente cuando viene en esta foto? So take a minute or two and take notes about the vocabulary, okay? The question is, what Me comes... Está dando como... Una dirección. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, but don't tell me now. Take one or two minutes and write the vocabulary in English, okay? Take one or two minutes and write the vocabulary in English, and after two minutes, you share, okay? Después de dos minutos me dicen. Right now, you can check your dictionary if you want, yeah? So the question is, what comes into your mind when you see this photo? ¿Qué se le viene a la mente cuando, ven, cuando ven esta fotografía? What comes into your mind when you see this photo? That's the question. Okay, so the question we have is, what comes into your mind when you see this photo? Okay, opinions? Opinions? Okay, in, in my case, uh, it's a tourist, address, having fun, sunny day, Sunday, get lost in, I don't know. Different things, right? Okay, a yeah. tourist, uh, directions, blah, blah, blah. Okay, thank you. Uh, Mayra? Thank you, Elenilson. I have Andrew. He, he is indicating where is the address you are looking for. Ah, okay. She is indicating uh, the address where? the address the other girl is looking for. Okay, yeah. excellent. It's excellent, Mayra. Uh, Wendy? I, I have it. Um, uh, I like what it is, the address. Address, that's right. She's giving an address. Ella está dando una dirección. She's giving an address. It's excellent. Very good. What else comes to your mind? ¿Qué más se le viene a la mente? What else comes to your mind? She's lost. She's lost, maybe, right? Who? The girl on the right or the girl on the left? And the, the, both. On the left. The girl <laughs> on the left. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Javier. So what else? ¿Qué más? In his left. Ah, the girl on the, on the left. Okay. Uh, so what else? 
¿Qué más? Search. Sorry. Search. Search. Searching for a place. It's right. Searching for a place. It's okay. Thank you very much. Now. Take a moment again. Yeah, probably the girl on the right, this girl, probably she is lost, right? And she is giving some directions, okay? And she is a tourist, maybe, right? Okay, we don't know. We are speculating, all right? We are speculating. Now, please, again, take a moment and look at this picture. What comes into your mind? Take two minutes again. Tomen otro dos minutos. And take notes if you want about the, the vocabulary. What comes into your mind when you look at this picture? What comes into your mind when you look at this picture? Take two minutes and think. Okay, again, so what comes into your mind when you see this photo? ¿Qué se le viene a la mente? What comes into your mind? They are, they are reviewing the map. Okay, the Santos, map. Santos first. Santos? They, they, are, they are looking in the map. They are looking at the map, exactly. What else? Come on. Thank you. They are reviewing the map, looking for something. Ah, they are reviewing the map, looking for something. It's correct. What else? They are looking for Rafa's house. <laughs> <laughs> they are looking for Rafa's house. Oh my goodness, that, that was very specific. <laughs> All right, what else? Rafa's is taking They are looking at some photos. They are looking at some photos, maybe. It's correct. Okay, thank you. What else? Only that? Uh, do you think they are lost? Do you think they are lost? They are looking on the map for an address. That's right. They are looking for an address on the map. Excellent. They, so they're not, they probably they are lost, right? Uh, where do you think they are? Where are these people? They are a student. No, no. Probably they are students, right? You know, but the question is where where are they? Where the place, the location, where are they? In a park. Maybe they are <laughs> in a park. Oh, we don't know, right? Okay, we're speculating. Okay, thank you very much. Now I ask you, based on the pictures, what do you think is the topic for today? What do you think is the topic for today? Lost. Lost. <laughs> Lost. Uh, the others, what do you think? What do you think is the topic for today? The travel Address. plans. Travel plans, maybe. Yeah. Anybody else? Address. Address. Giving directions. Okay. Giving directions is the topic for today. Okay. That's the, the information we are going to study today. Giving directions. Okay. Good. So let's start with the first activity. I have three questions here. Question number one. 
Question number one is, okay, give me a minute. So question number one is, are you good at reading maps? Are you good at reading maps? Son buenos leyendo mapas o interpretando mapas? Are you good at reading maps? Number two, do you usually ask for directions to locate places? Frecuentemente pide direcciones para localizar lugares? When you go to a place you don't know, right? Cuando van a un lugar que no conocen. Do you usually ask for directions to locate places? Number three. Are you good at giving directions to get to places? Son buenos dando direcciones para llegar a un lugar o para llegar a lugares? So three questions, right? You say, are you good at, if you ask me, Bernardo, are you good at reading maps? I say, no, I am not. I am terrible, all right? Uh, Bernardo. Do you usually ask for directions to locate places? Sometimes, it depends on the, on the place, okay? Sometimes I can say. Number three, Bernardo, are you good at giving directions to get to places? No, I'm not. I'm bad at giving directions. So I'm malo dando direcciones. I'm bad at giving directions, okay? So take a moment and answer the three questions, please. Uh, in case you have the manual, these questions are on page number 43, okay? In case you have the printed manual or the photocopy of the manual, these questions are on page number 43, okay?
uh, two more minutes to finish, okay? Two more minutes and we finish with this. And we practice. Ele. ¿Qué pasó? Ya viste a Rafa. La cara de afligido que tiene. ¿Es que va así, güey? No, eso siempre, Rafa. Este es seis, seis turnos hace. Ojalá me pidan café mañana, desgraciado. Mucho menos se emita que te pidan, Rafa. No se emita en no coffee tomorrow. Don't bother, Rafa. ¿Ok? <laughs> okay, everyone. So I really hope you finished. Uh, well, uh, did yes. you finish answering? So three questions, right? Question number one is, are you good at reading maps? Are you good at reading maps? Good at. You say good at. Are you good at? Are you good at reading maps? Number two. Do you usually ask for directions to locate places? Do you usually ask for directions to locate places? Number three, are you good at, good at, are you good at giving directions to get to places? Are you good at giving directions to get to places? So that's the pronunciation for question number three. So these questions are on page number 43, okay? So before we go, before we practice, before we practice, I will pass the attendance, okay? Aida? Claudia? Present teacher. Claudia? No, not present. Doris? Present teacher. Daniel? Present teacher. Ellen Nilsson? Present teacher. Elsie? Present teacher. Irma. Present teacher. Irving. Present. Javier. I am here teacher. Mayra. Present teacher. Rafael. I am here teacher. Milton. Santos. Present teacher. Sara. Present teacher. Ulises, Walter, Walter, Wendy, We, uh, Jessica, Hazel, Mauricio, Majo, Presentation. And Carla. At present, right? Okay. Carla? Yes, she's present, I think. Okay, uh, well, now uh, we have three questions, right? Three questions. So for this activity, 
we will make bigger groups because I want, I want you to listen to different classmates' opinions, okay? I want you to listen to different classmates' opinions. So the groups will be a little bigger, okay? Los grupos serán un poquito más grandes para que escuchen opiniones variadas. So you listen to different opinions, okay? Three questions. So take turns to answer the questions, please, in the groups, okay? So let's go and practice in groups. Eh, siempre la, bueno, antes de que nos vayamos a trabajar en equipo, voy a decir esto en español. La idea de trabajar en equipo es, por supuesto, que practiquen con sus compañeros y que se ayuden mutuamente. Si alguien ha cometido un error, podemos ayudarle, podemos hacerlo de la mejor manera y ayudarle, ¿verdad? Para que lo haga bien, ¿ok? En pronunciación o estructura. Así que esa es la idea, que se ayuden mutuamente. So you can help each other, ¿ok? So let's do that, please, as much as we can. So let's go then and practice in groups. Do you... but, but, but. This meeting is being recorded. <laughs> okay. Do you usually ask for direction to locate place? Uh, yes. I usually ask for help with uh, location to avoid wasting time. Okay. Are you good at giving direction to get to place? <laughs> I would tell Valerian, yes. <laughs> <laughs> a la par del palo yeah. aquel de mango <laughs> uh, and, uh, okay. only, uh, only if I am very familiar with the place uh, to be found is yes no <laughs> no uh, GPS <laughs> GPS ok Okay. Ya es una ayuda. Okay. Entonces eh. hoy me pregunta usted a mí y luego continúan los demás que están calladitos. Ah, si no le pregunto a otro compañero y vamos así cabal hasta que el ah, perfecto. termine preguntándole a usted. Ajá. Perfecto. Okay. Ahí elija wow. al azar. Azar. Ah, bueno. <risa> Yes. Hi, Sara. Sara, are you good at reading maps? No, I am not good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you usually ask for direction to locate places? Yes, <laughs> always. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> are you good at giving direction to get to places? No, I am not very good at giving direction. <laughs> Estamos perdidos. Pierda la persona. Bueno, ya sabemos a quiénes no preguntar. A vos y a sí. mí. <risa> Cabal. Muy ok, te dijo ahí que continúe con otro compañero. Le va a preguntar a Santos. Ok. ¿Are you good at reading maps? No, I, I don't. Uh, do you usually ask for direction to locate place? Yes, I usually ask for direction 
when I go to shop, shopping for the company. Are you good at giving direction to get to place? No, I don't. Lo pierdo. Ya somos tres. Bien, Elija, ¿quién me va a preguntar? No, I, no, I go, no, no, I give direction in Salvadorian style, next to, okay. in front. <laughs> me too, <Okay>. Ulises. <laughs> similar, similar for me. Yeah. Wendy. Good night. <laughs> Wendy, are you good at reading map? <laughs> <laughs> yes or no? Yes or no? No. Okay. I Wendy, know. Wendy, do you usually ask for direction to locate, please? I could not. Um, I could not. No, I don't. Okay. No, I'm not. Wendy, are you good at giving? Are you good at giving direction to get to please? Mm, no, I'm not. Mm, no, I'm not. Say how you get, but say the releases with me. Okay. Uh, Turn on the re left, in front, and the. Y uh, Aida, good night, Aida. How are you? <coughs> good night. Fernando. <laughs> Excellent. Aida, are you go at reading map? Rafael. No, not at all. No, I know. Okay. Aida, do you usually ask for direction to locate, please? Yes, I do. Okay. Aida, are you good at giving direction to get to place? No, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, finish con, con el group. No. Rafa, are you good at reading maps? No, I not. Uh, do you usually ask for a diction to locate places? Yes, I do. And Ambra, Amaris, am R E. Entonces es la misma mm -hmm. figura. Are you? Are you good? No, I'm not. Or yes, I am. Yes, I am. Ah, okay. This is it. Yes, okay. I clear. Okay, perfect. Okay. <laughs> you have 50 seconds. Okay. okay. <laughs> so you finished? Yes. Okay, that's perfect. No le voy a enseñar ese, ca ese café a Rafa porque anda con hambre, picho. It's chocolate. It's chocolate. It's ah, chocolate. Peor. 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 Todavía le va a pedir. Worse. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So he likes chocolate more than coffee. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So he likes more sugar than caffeine, right? Oh, yeah. A lot of... <laughs> my goodness. Mucho molestan a Rafa ustedes. You bother Rafa too much. Ahí te lo merece. Te lo merece. This meeting is being recorded. Okay. Uh, well, let's listen to uh, three opinions only, okay? I want to listen to three opinions. Volunteers. Volunteers. 
I want to listen to three opinions, okay, for the questions. So I need three volunteers. Okay, Javier, two more volunteers, the voluntarios más. Javier is volunteering. Who else? Who else? Quien más? Who else? Aida, thank you. One more. Javier and Aida are volunteering. One more volunteer. And Rafa, thank you. Okay, uh, let's start with Javier. Javier, uh, are you good at reading maps? Yes, I am. Do you usually ask for directions to locate places? Mm, yes, I am. Um, Sometimes I use Waze. Yeah, me too. Thank you. <laughs> are you good at giving directions to get to places? Sometimes. Uh, when I visited the place already. All right, that's excellent. All right, very good. <laughs> okay, I guess Doris is saying something there on the chat. Actually, okay, uh, yeah. thank you very much, uh, Javier. Thank you for, for your opinion about this. Okay, now let's listen to Aida. And then Rafa, right? Aida, are you good at uh, giving, are, are you good at reading maps? Not, not at all. <laughs> Just like me. Uh, do you usually ask for directions to locate places? Yes, always, because I lost uh, so much time. Okay. Are you good at giving directions to get to places? No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. All right. Me too. I'm not good at giving directions. I just tell them, vayase derecho, okay? Go straight and that's it, right? And I don't know how to, how to uh, give the right locations for people, okay? I'm terrible. Uh, Rafa. Yes. Are you good at reading maps? No, I'm not. Do you usually ask for directions to locate places? Yes, I do. Are the you good at, uh, yeah, sorry. But I had the call for the office. Ah, all right. I, I, I need your, loca lo your, your location, uh, Colón Escalón, Avenida 89, Avenida Norte. Okay, yes, okay, no problem. I go in the 10 minutes. Depends for my, my, my yeah. Don't say? Yeah, it depends on where you are. I'm, yeah. ter I'm terrible, believe me. If somebody tells me, vaya a la cuarta calle poniente, I tell them, no, please tell me a place. Díganme un lugar, okay? I'm lost okay. with streets, really. I'm lost with streets, okay? Thank you, Rafa. And the question number three, Rafa. Okay. Are you good at giving directions to get to places? Yes, I, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, so I can see Rafa is good at directions. Thank you, Rafa. Okay, teacher. Oh, okay, I, I'm terrible with directions, believe me. I will explain this topic, but if you ask me, I'm terrible with directions, terrible, all right? Um, but we have to study this topic, right? Of course. All right, so uh, here we have some prepositions, right? Uh, to give directions, we need to use some prepositions, yeah? So for example, how to say next to, all right? Um, okay, let me get the, the pen here. For example, uh, when you say next to, all right? So that's um, next to, right? I'm sorry, give me a minute, give me a minute. I don't find the, the things here. Okay, yeah. For example, the first preposition is next to. According to the picture, what is next to? A la par. A la par de. A la par. A la par de. A la par de. That's right. So uh, next to is a la par de. For example, you can say um, the bank is next to the park. Next to the park. And frequently y frecuentemente después de esas preposiciones usamos el artículo de next to the park, for example, okay? Before the place. Uh, then we have in front of. Okay, according to this, what is in front of? ¿Qué es en frente de? What is in front of? Any idea? Este, la biblioteca está en frente del parque. En frente de, that's right. So you can say, for example, uh, the bank is in front of the park, okay, el banco está en frente del parque. The bank is in front of the park. So in front of is, is en frente de. The next, the next is between, between. 
What is between? En medio. En medio, en medio de. En medio de. En medio de. That's right. So you can say, for example, uh, the bank is between the park. Or, or you can say the bank is between uh, the bookstore and the police station. Okay. The bank is between the bookstore and the police station. And commonly, con esta preposición usamos en para conectar los dos lugares. Okay. Between the bank and the police station. En medio de dos lugares, okay? Good. So this is uh, the case of between. It's en medio de, all right? The next is across the street. As you can see here, across the street. Al What is across? La calle. Al cruzar la calle. Al cruzar la calle, exactly. So across the street is al cruzar la calle. For example, you can say the bank is across the street. The bank is across the street. El banco está al cruzar la calle, all right? Let's look at the next. Veamos el siguiente. Let's look at the next. So the next is around the corner. Look at this. Around the corner. What is around the corner? A la vuelta de la esquina. 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 Around the corner. It's correct. A la vuelta de la esquina. Around the corner. Uh, and then we have on the right. What is on the right? A la derecha. A la derecha. On the right, a la derecha. On the left? A la izquierda. A la izquierda is correct. On the left, a la izquierda. On the right, a la derecha. Okay? Very good. And we have the last one. Tenemos la última. Down the street. Down. Bajando la calle. Al bajar la calle. Ajá, o bajando la calle. Al bajar la calle o bajando la calle. All right? So down the street. Al bajar la calle o bajando la calle. Down the street. So the first one is next to. Next to is a la par de. In front of, en frente de. Between, en medio. So between the bank and the police station, for example. So we use a, we use en, okay, to connect the places. Between the bank and the police station, for example. Across the street is al cruzar la calle, right? Around the corner, a la vuelta de la esquina. On the right, So this is on the right, uh, a la derecha. On the left, a la izquierda, on the left. Down the street, al bajar la calle o bajando la calle, down the street, okay? Okay, take a moment, like three minutes and study the vocabulary. Take three minutes and study the vocabulary, please. Take three minutes and study the vocabulary. Next to, in front, in front of between across the street around the corner on the right on the casi todas
Okay, uh, well, let's see. Um, let me close this screen. Now I want to ask some of you directly, okay? Uh, let's see, Wendy. Wendy, how do you say a la parte in English? Wendy, how do you say a la parte in English? Pero ni que no copie la, la imagen. Okay. Póngala de nuevo. <laughs> All right. A la parte. Yes. In English. Bed, bed, wind. Between. Mm -hmm. Between. O okay. Let's see. Rafa, what do you think? Is it correct? How do you say a la parte in English? Oh, no, next, next to. Next, next to. It's correct, Wendy. It's next to. Okay. Ulises, how do you say uh, a la izquierda in English? On the left. On the left. It's correct. Uh, let's see. Um, Aida, how do you say a la derecha in English? On the right. On the right, that's perfect. Daniel, how do you say enfrente de in English? In front of. In front of, that's correct. Irma, how do you say al bajar la calle in English or bajando la calle? Irma. Uh, down the street. Down the street, excellent. Uh, Doris, how do you say en medio de? Between is. Between is between, exactly. All right. Uh, Santos, how do you say al cruzar la calle? Across, across the street. Across the street. It's excellent. Uh, yes. Let's see. Um, let me see here. Hazel, how do you say, um, let me see, a la vuelta de la esquina in English? Around the corner. It's perfect. Thank you very much. Now listen. For the next activity, you will work in pairs. So please pay attention to the activity carefully. Okay? Presten mucha atención a la actividad que van a hacer en parejas. Pay a lot of attention, please. Listen. On page number 43, on page number 43, you have a little map. You have a little map. And in the little map, you have one, two, three, four, five places, okay? In the pair, you decide who will give the directions. En la pareja deciden quién va a dar las instrucciones, okay? For example, imagine Doris, Doris and Santos work together. Imagínense que Doris y Santos trabajan juntos. So Doris can give the directions and Santos can identify the places. Santos puede identificar los lugares, okay? For example, um, the hotel is across the street. Aquí empieza todo. The hotel is across the street. The gas station is around the corner. Le va a decir Doris a Santos. And Santos will identify where the gas station is. Santos va a identificar dónde está ese lugar en el, en el pequeño mapa, in the little map. Okay? Ustedes deciden quién da de las direcciones y quién identifica los lugares en su pareja. ¿De acuerdo? Page 43, página 43. Son cinco lugares. Five places you need to identify. Cinco lugares que necesitan identificar. ¿De acuerdo? Yes. Yes. So one person the gives the directions. One person gives the directions and the other person identifies the places in the map. Okay? Agree? De acuerdo? Agree? Clear? Claro? Clarito? Yes, okay, that's perfect. Yes. Let's go and work in pairs then.
Sí, sí, yo la tengo, la página 46. Sí. Um, son seis preguntas. ¿Le indico ¿Dónde? yo o cómo hacemos? Si quiere, indique usted. Ok. Dice the first. The hotel is across the street. Esa ya está. Mm -hmm. So it's across the street. Okay. The gas station is around the corner. The gas station is the around the corner. Dice que la estación de gasolina está girando en la esquina. Mm -hmm. Y está... Bueno, aquí casi no se mire la imagen, pero... Sería... Eh, in front de... In front of the hotel. Sería la izquierda. No, es from, es from of the hotel, enfrente de. Enfrente de donde está, ¿cómo es el hotel? hotel. De ahí. Around the corner es cruzando la esquina. Uh -huh. De ahí está la tercera, sería. I for to red carson. Pero de dónde es que me está leyendo? Uy, perdón, se me bloqueó la pantalla. ¿Mm? De dónde es la pre porque está en la página 46, pero está en la um, en no, la 6, ¿verdad? 43. 43. Aquí está otro mapa también. 43. I just sent it to WhatsApp. Ok, ahorita les mandé la imagen a WhatsApp por cualquier cosa. Ok, I just sent the picture to WhatsApp. The activity. Okay. So you can check that. All right, no problem. Ya lo tiene ahí, bueno. Sí, sí, sí. Ahí tengo hotel is across. Esa ya estuvo. La tercera es la que estábamos haciendo, que es la gasolinera. Ahí uh -huh. tengo next to gas question. Sería enfrente de los... Por eso, en front of, sería de... The gas station is around the corner. La, la estación de gasolina está girando a la esquina. Entonces, mm -hmm. yo siento que esta sería eh, la que está aquí, the in, the in front of the hotel. Uh -huh. La que está a la par del hotel. Enfrente de. Ajá, uh -huh. que es el cubito que está delante del hotel. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Y ahí la, la cuarta dice Aten is Don't the stream On the Rip A la par ah, Next to es a la par Ajá, entonces tendría que ser el de, el de abajo Porque dice que eh, The van is next to The gas, gas station. station Ajá Ajá, entonces tiene que ver algo a la par De gas station Ah, vaya. Dicho, ¿verdad? Y, tú, eh, a la par, ¿verdad? Sí, y dice que el ATM is down the street on the right. Dicho, next to is a la par, exactly. ¿Eh? A la par, ¿verdad? Ok, thanks. Ah, pues sí, es el de abajo, Mayra. Cuando dice, el de abajo, de eh, el que está a la par de la gas ajá. station, ¿verdad? Correcto. Y 
the antenna is down, is down. The on the right, so arriba de la, de la gas station. El ATM. Y the restaurant is down the street. Ajá, sería arriba del hotel. Como lo vemos así. Aquí quiero ver. Así. Uh, arriba del hotel el restaurante, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí, no. Ah, pues sí. Sí, sí. The hotel is across the street. The gas station okay. is around the corner. It's around the corner. Uh -huh. The esquina. The bank the is bank next is to a la par de la the gas station. station. Uh -huh. The ATM is down the street on the right. Uh -huh. Ah, está bajando la calle a la derecha. Uh -huh. And the restaurant is down the street on, on, the, on left. the left. Sí, así es. Se le quiere. Ajá. Correcto. Pencho. Between. Across. Okay. Entonces usted va a ser la delegada, May. No, usted. No, usted lo tiene impreso, yo no. Oh, no puedo yo dar dirección a usted, sí. Aquí en el, en el teléfono. Entonces. Me cuesta mucho. A ver si cómo hacerle. Uh -huh. Are you ready? Yes, ya yes. Yes, yes, Okay, yes. that's excellent. <laughs> Solo era de buscar las direcciones, ¿verdad, dicha? Yeah. Okay. Ya finish. Okay, perfect. This meeting is being recorded. Okay, uh, everyone, well, I guess everybody finished, right? Creo que todos terminaron. I guess everybody finished. Didn't you? Yes, right? Yes. Yes, okay, let's see. Let's see yeah. uh, how you have it. Let's see how you have it. So number one is the hotel is uh, across the street, right? So this is the hotel, okay? The hotel is across the street. Number two, the gas station is around the corner. So what is the gas station? This or this? This or this? Down. Down, Down this one, all right? So, this, um, this. so this is the gas station? Yes. Yes, yes. yes. all right, okay, yes. let's continue. The bank is next to the gas station. So, what is the bank? Next the to the gas? Next, the next to <laughs> the gas station. That's very good. So, the, this is the bank. Este es el banco. This is the bank. Very good. Let's continue. The ATM is down the street on the right. Remember, you started here. Empezamos en el hotel. We started at the hotel, okay? So, the ATM is down the street on the right. So this is the ATM, right? Yes? Yes. Yes or no? Yes. yes. That's the ATM. The restaurant is down the street on the left. left. Down the street on the left. So this is left. the yes. this is the restaurant. Restaurant. Yeah? Restaurant. Yes. Do you have it the same? Lo tienen lo mismo? Yes. Oh, yes. that's excellent. Very good. It's amazing. Thank you. Okay. Now listen. So we have prepositions to give directions, right? But we have more vocabulary to give directions. También tenemos otro vocabulario para, para dar direcciones. For example, we have go straight. Go straight is like, go straight, okay? De derecho. Sometimes we say andate recto, right? Andate recto, go straight. Ve, de re ve derecho, okay? Go straight. Dale recto. Dale recto, go straight, okay? O ve derecho. Go pass is... Pasa. For example, go past uh, the drugstore. Pasa o go past the park. Pasa el parque, por ejemplo. Go past the park. Pasa el parque, okay? Go past the park. So let me repeat. 
Go straight is dale recto, we say that. Oh, pie derecho, okay, go straight. Go past is pasa. Go past the, the park, pasa el parque. Give me a minute. Okay, so uh, go past the park is pasa el parque, okay, go past the park. Turn left, it's gira a la izquierda, turn left. Turn right, gira a la derecha, turn right, okay. Go straight, dale recto, dice Ulises, right? Go past, pasa, okay, pasa la, el parque, go past the park. Turn left, gira a la izquierda, turn right, gira a la derecha. Now let's go to the other vocabulary. Go up the street. Go up the street is sube la calle, okay? O sube, sube en la calle, okay? Go up the street. Or go down the street is baja esta calle, okay? Go down this street. Go down the street. For example, you can say, uh, where, imagine somebody tells you, where is the restaurant? Donde este restaurante? Uh, go down the street, baja esta calle, go down the street, and it's on the left, okay? For example, go down the street and turn left, here a la izquierda, I don't know, all right? Next, walk. Walk is caminar, right? Walk down the street, camina hacia abajo en la calle. O puede ser walk up the street, camina hacia arriba, okay? Walk up the street or walk down the street. Go on for two blocks. Dale dos cuadras, we say, right? Oh, camina dos cuadras, ve dos cuadras, okay? Go on for two blocks. Go on for two blocks. Take the first left. The first left. Toma la primera izquierda. Take the first right. Toma la primera derecha. Take, all right? So let me repeat. Go straight, dale recto, all right? Go past, pasa. Okay, pasa el parque, go past the park. Turn left, gira a la izquierda. Turn right, gira a la derecha. Go up the street, sube la calle. Go down the street, go down the street, baja la calle, okay? Walk down the street, camina hacia abajo en la calle, okay, o en la calle. Uh, go on for two blocks. Dale dos cuadras, okay, ve dos cuadras. And take the first left, toma la primera izquierda, take the first right, toma la primera derecha. Okay, so this is the vocabulary we have to give directions. Aquí tenemos este vocabulario para dar instrucciones. Si quieren, escríbanlo y le ponen la traducción para que lo tengan, okay? Escríbanlo si quieren o si tienen el folleto, allá a la par le pueden poner la traducción o ahí abajito, okay? Si no lo tienen, sí es importante que lo escriban porque ya lo vamos a ocupar en una actividad. Okay, please.
Walk down, dijo bajando la calle, ¿verdad? Walk down. Uh -huh. Camina hacia abajo. Uh -huh. Ah, camina. Camina. Ajá, uh -huh. walk is caminar. Camina hacia, camina camina hacia, hacia abajo okay. en la calle. Uh -huh. Ok. Walk Thank down you. the street. Y go on for is... Avanza. No, I don't know how to say this in Spanish, really, but maybe you can say avanza dos cuadras. Ah, ok. Sería dos cuadras. Ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. Go on for two blocks. One more minute to finish writing, okay? Taking notes. One more minute to finish taking notes. Okay, ready? Listo? Yes? Yes, all right, very good. Now listen, in order to give directions, we use, we can use this conversation, okay? Para dar instrucciones o direcciones, podemos usar esta conversación. For example, you can say, uh, good morning or good evening, I don't know. Good morning, could you give me directions to the nearest hotel? You can say, could you give me directions to the nearest bank, to the nearest park, to the nearest, solo le cambian hotel, all right? You only change hotel and then the directions, okay? Good morning, sure. Walk down the street and turn left, for example, okay? Walk down the street and turn left. And the bank is next to the, I don't, the hotel is next to the bank, for example, okay? Turn left and the hotel is next to the bank. Thank you, no problem, okay? So we can use this conversation to give directions, yeah? Good morning, could you give me the directions to the nearest bank, for example? Good morning, sure. Uh, you can say, I don't know, uh, go on to blocks, for example, para cambiando. Go on to blocks uh, and uh, turn right. The bank is next to the cafeteria. Thank you, no problem, okay? So these are the, there are different ways to give directions depending on the place. So we are going to use this conversation as an example, okay? Vamos a usar esta conversación como ejemplo. This conversation is on page 44. Es en la página 44. It's on page 44, okay? Very good. Now, let me show you something here. Le voy a mostrar algo acá. Let me show you something here. I have a little map, okay? I have this little map. Imagine, imagine um, I practice with with a friend, okay? Or I, I, and a friend needs directions. And this friend, give me a minute. Perdí la conversación, por aquí la tenía, okay. And this friend needs directions, okay? Then I, then my friend tells me, um, good evening, uh, could you give me directions? Oh, first, primero, antes de todo, before everything. You are here, ustedes están acá. Partimos de este punto. We start on this point, okay? Good morning. Could you give me directions to the nearest Italian restaurant? Ah, to the nearest Italian restaurant. So I say, good evening. Sure. Go up the street or go on two blocks. One, two. Go on for two blocks. Turn right. Turn right, okay, and go on for one block. Turn right and go on for one block. Well, two blocks, right? Go on for two blocks. The restaurant is 
next to the cafe. The Italian restaurant is next to the cafe, okay? Let me give you another example. Le voy a dar otro ejemplo. Let me give you another example. Using the vocabulary, okay? A uh, good morning. Could you give me directions? Este es usando la conversación que ya le dije, okay? Good morning. Could you give me directions to the nearest police station? Good morning. Sure. Walk up the street. Walk up the street. Walk up the street. The police station is in front of the supermarket. The police station is in front of the supermarket. Okay? One last example. Un último ejemplo para que practiquen ustedes. Um, again, the same conversation. La misma conversación otra vez. Good morning. Could you give me directions to the nearest uh, theater? Good morning. Sure. Go up the street or go straight si quieren. Dale recto. Go straight. Go straight. And the theater is in front of the underground station. The theater is in front of the underground station. Okay? ¿Se entiende qué van a hacer? Is it clear what you have to do? Yeah? Usando la conversación, van a preguntar acerca de lugares y su compañero debe darles la dirección. Tomen turnos. Okay? Take turns, please. Si van a practicar en parejas, you will practice in pairs. Okay? So take turns. Toman turnos para practicar. Si gustan, le hacen una captura a este mapa, por favor, para que lo tengan ahí, ahí listo. Porque eso no está en el manual. So make a screenshot. You got it. You got it. Yeah, we got to write down this or... No, no, it's only speaking. Solo hablando. Only speaking. Okay. Yeah, only Perfect. speaking. Solo hablado. Y ayúdense oh. mutuamente. Help each other, okay? Okay, creo que alguien ya mandó la captura por ahí. Thank you very much. Okay, yeah, there it is. Thank you. Ahí está la captura en el WhatsApp. Alguien la mandó ahorita. Okay, so please, let's take a moment and practice using the conversation. Vamos a usar la conversación de la página 44, ¿verdad? Page 44. Okay, any question? ¿Alguna pregunta? No. We have five minutes no. to practice. Tenemos cinco minutos para practicar. We have five minutes to practice. So let's go and practice. Vamos a practicar. Let's go and practice.
que eh, good afternoon could you give me duration on the letters uh, factory good afternoon sure World, world to strain. Uh, turn, turn right. Uh, from no tiene nada enfrente. Uh, the no. sería the next to Museum. Thank you. No problem. Okay. Boy, boy, yo. Good evening. Could you give me direction to nurse um, cafe? The cafe. Okay. Uh, good evening. Sure. Uh, go to strain and turn right. Uh, go on for one block. Uh, and and to right. Thank you. No problem. Creo que sí sería esa. Sí, porque no tiene nada. Ajá. O a la par de Italian restaurant. No, no, Next no. to. Next to. Next to o. Oh. On the left, the Italian restaurant. Mm -hmm. Sí, como dice, avanza una cuadra, ¿verdad? Avanza uh -huh. una cuadra, dice. You can, uh -huh. you can say, if you don't find any, like, any place, you can say, it's on the right or on the left. It's on the right. Está a la derecha. It's on the right. On the mm -hmm. right or on the left, okay? On the left. Ah, mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Go uh, parts and underground station and mm -hmm. okay. They are sh uh, shop. Seria. I'll go up for two block to the left. Uh, one block. Uh -huh. No, to left. I'll go to four to block. Yeah, go on for one block. Turn, mm -hmm. turn right. Okay, a la derecha. Shopper. Here's the shop. And that's a far way. This meeting is being recorded. Okay, everyone. Um, I know it's not so easy to give directions, okay? Yo sé que no es fácil dar eh, direcciones, incluso en español es un poquito, un poquito confuso, okay? Even in Spanish, it's a little confusing, okay? Um, but it's about practice, okay? Al menos en inglés se trata de practicar un poquito. 
ya tienen el vocabulario para dar direcciones. Solitos pónganse a dar direcciones. Ahí tienen el mapa también. Con ese mapa, solitos pónganse a dar direcciones ahí, ¿ok? Eh, por ejemplo, ¿cómo llego al café? Solitos, go straight, turn left, and ease on the right. Ok, solitos pónganse a hacerlo para que practiquen, ¿ok? Porque si no lo practican, se les va a olvidar. Ahorita ya tienen el vocabulario. Pero si no lo practican, seguramente se les va a olvidar el vocabulario y cómo dar direcciones, ¿ok? ¿Ya? Ahorita ya tienen la explicación. Para practicar quizás tendríamos, tendríamos que estar toda una clase practicando para que lo manejemos bien, pero eso depende de ustedes. Así que ustedes lo pueden hacer de manera individual, ¿ok? Uh, ok, everybody. I don't know if you have any question about the class. ¿Alguna pregunta acerca de la clase? ¿Any question about the class? No. No, no teacher. No, no, ok, teacher. muy bien. Eh, solo siempre eh, recordar, ya va a ser viernes pasado mañana y el viernes terminamos módulo. El viernes antes de la sesión deben haber terminado las actividades de la sección 4 y el examen final, ¿ok? Por ahí habían unos errores aparentemente, pero ya nos ayudaron ahí a solventarlos. Fue Daniel creo que nos ayudó, no me acuerdo, no, no sé quién, o, o Mayra, no sé quién fue que ayudó la solución, ¿ok? Así que si encuentran los mismos errores, vayan a revisar el grupo de WhatsApp que por ahí nos ayudaron algunos a corregirlo. Por fin de tanto encontraron cuál era el problema, ¿ok? Así que revisen el grupo si no han hecho ese ejercicio aún, ¿de acuerdo? Y la encuesta de satisfacción igual, hasta el día viernes la vamos a hacer juntos. Ya les llegó el correo y el WhatsApp, pero eso lo hacemos hasta el día viernes todos juntos, ¿ok? ¿De acuerdo? Ok. Ok, solo se queda Wendy, creo que tiene la sesión uno a uno. Ok, y los demás se van. Ok, so thank you very much for getting connected today. Good night and see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, Good night teacher. teacher. Tomorrow, bye-bye. Bye. Night, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. teacher, tomorrow. Bye-bye. Tomorrow, bye-bye. Chao, -bye. Rafa. <laughs> ya se fue a Rafa. <laughs> Antes que le digan que se bañe. Yes. Solo ponemos de baja Jessica aquí. Okay. Sí, sí. Adelante, Wendy. Este espacio es para ti. Así que dudas, adelante. Teacher, eh, por decir, este, en el donde está lo primero que dice Web Strike, dijo que era. A la izquierda, ¿verdad? No, no, go straight. Go straight es B derecho. Y ahí decía Bien. Ulises, dale recto, decía Ulises, que eso es lo que usamos normalmente, ¿verdad? No sería lo correcto en español, pero creo que es lo mejor para entenderlo bien. Dale recto, ¿ok? B derecho. Go straight. Ah, o sea que sería dale recto. Exactamente. No es la forma correcta en español, pero ese es el que usamos todos casi, ¿verdad? Dale recto, ¿ok? B derecho. Ah. Go straight. Y el, el go past, eh, un paso, ¿verdad? No, pasa. Por ejemplo, go past uh, the store, pasa a la tienda. Pasa a la tienda al, o al pasar la tienda. Go past the store. ¿Cómo al pasar? Ajá, al pasar o pasa. Creo que es lo mismo, el mismo la misma intención. Y turn left. Turn left es gira a la izquierda. Gira a la izquierda, turn left. A la izquierda. Uh -huh. Y tú. Turn, turn, to read sería Ajá, turn, to, right, to, Ajá, turn right turn right Ajá, sería lo contrario a la derecha gira a la derecha derecha gira a la derecha okay. turn right y yeah, go up down the street sería ahí ahí sí ya sería como doble sí. no go up the street nosotros decimos dale para arriba, okay, dale para arriba en la calle, okay, ese es go up the street y dale para abajo es go down the street, es ve hacia abajo en la calle, go down the street, ve hacia abajo y go up the street es ve hacia uh -huh. arriba. Ajá. Si gusta fuera para, uh, para 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 uh -huh. que para que uh -huh. recuerden uh -huh. mejor. Then the street es dale para arriba. Go up. Uh -huh. Then down the street. Sería para abajo. Dale para y abajo. Y el go. Ajá. Y go el go on. Ajá. Sería bloque. A la ajá, siguiente dos, cuadra. Dos cuadras. Dos cuadras. Dos cuadras. Ajá. Sigue dos cuadras. Podría ser o continúa dos cuadras. Go on to blocks. Continúa dos cuadras. Y sería ten first left. Sería. 
Como a so, la siguiente cuadra. No, take the first left es toma la primera izquierda. Take the first toma left. La I take the first right, toma la primera derecha. Ok. Uh -huh. y, y en la clase de ayer, teacher, ¿qué más un resumir un poquito? No he visto el video porque he estado bien saturada de trabajo. Es el going to. Estudiamos el going to para planes futuros. De lo que estuvimos haciendo, I come to Exactamente. the world. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Sí, básicamente, okay. let me show you here. Básicamente lo que vimos es el going to para hablar acerca de, de planes futuros, ¿ok? O de eventos programados, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Y teníamos que esta era la estructura, ¿ok? Que las oraciones que estuvimos uh -huh. haciendo, por ejemplo, I'm going to arrive, I'm going to stay. Y luego que para tercera, vaya, aquí depende de los pronombres. Si uso el pronombre I, digo am. I am going to. Okay, si uso el pronombre he, el she, is, uso is. Let is. Is. Uh -huh. Ajá, is going to. Y si uso los plurales como we, you, they, digo are. We are going to, for example, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Eso era la forma okay. en positivo. En negativo uh -huh. le pongo el not. I am not, she is not, he is not, they are not. Solo le pongo el not después del verbo to be. The am, is, or are. Para hacer una oración okay. negativa. Uh -huh. Y para hacer la pregunta, pongo el verbo to be al principio. Y digo, por ejemplo, are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? Okay. Pongo el am, el is para o el are. Para hacer la pregunta. Para hacer la pregunta, el am, el is o el are, lo pongo al inicio. Okay. Uh -huh. Ajá. Y de ahí Pero el are to... se, se pone solo cuando son cosas, ¿verdad? Es para plural. Para you, we... Day. Sí. Ajá. Ah, para, okay, sí. para she uso el is. Para he, para she el uso is. el is. Ajá. Entonces, si fuese, digamos, eh, is you going to stay in uh, smoking? Podría ajá. ser. Is she. Ajá. Is she. Va, ella va a quedarse. Ajá. Is she. Is ajá. she. Pero como aquí tenemos you, digo are. Depende del pronombre. Uh -huh. Ok. Ya. Yeah. Yes, y luego si queremos hacer una pregunta, estas son preguntas cerradas. Una pregunta abierta, pongo la palabra que voy a poner y luego sigo la misma estructura. How long are you going to stay, por ejemplo? ¿Cuánto tiempo? Y luego are, otra vez el verbo to be. Te vas a quedar. How long are you going to stay? O when, ¿cuándo? Cuando, cuando, es, cerra cuando es cerrada tengo que poner how long. O cuando no, es cuando, abierta. No, cuando es abierta. Por eso dice aquí information question, ah, okay. cuando es una pregunta abierta, ¿ok? Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Sí, básicamente ese es el tema principal de lo que vimos ayer. Es el tema de gramática. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Sí, más o menos. Ese es como la, el módulo primero, más o menos, viene dando. Que es lo que le resumieron a nosotros. Uh -huh. Exacto. <coughs> ok. Ya. Yeah. Um, básicamente acá lo que no tienes que olvidar es qué forma del verbo tuvio vas a usar con qué pronombre. Y luego el going to y el verbo, ¿ok? Que es arrive, mm -hmm. en este caso, stay, travel, fly, arrive, stay, make, ¿ok? Ya. Yeah. Mm -hmm. ajá, yes, ajá, que con el I va el am, que con el he, she va el is. Con el we, you, they, by el are. Ok, eso debes recordar. Eso es importante en este tema. Siempre conjugar los verbos. Uh -huh. con... Con, el, con la forma okay. del verbo to be correcta. Con am, is, o are. Uh -huh. Ok. Ya. Yeah. Ok. Ok. So, do you have any other question? Sería... ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Perdón. ¿Alguna otra pregunta? No. No, no, ahorita solo era eso. Y ahí medio practicando que quiero ver, hace, bueno, hace unas horas estaba, tengo un pariente que está ahí ahí, más o menos me manda audios que qué le, que qué me está preguntando. Y ahí estoy medio, a ver si. Practicando. Se me queda, que la pronunciación es la que me cuesta a mí. Sí, sí, yo sé. Yo le puedo eh. entender, listen, le puedo entender, pero ya. Ya la, la traducción y todo eso ya. 
es de práctica, es solo, es de, se trata de practicar, ¿ok? Ir acumulando tanto vocabulario como puedo y, e ir usándolo, ir practicando. Y a medida vaya practicando y practicando y practicando, voy a ir, como voy a empezar a usar mejor el idioma. Uh -huh. Pero es de práctica, el inglés es práctica. Uh -huh. Sí, básicamente eso, es de practicar mucho. Sí, eso es lo que, para que es como... Cuando usted aprende algo, tiene que estarlo practicando y no se le olvida. Exactamente. Es lo mismo. El idioma es lo mismo. Mm -hmm. It's the same. Y para mejorarlo, tengo mm -hmm. que practicarlo. Igual, como tú dices, imagínate un carpintero, si nunca se pone a hacer un mueble y nunca va haciendo más muebles, nunca va a perfeccionar la, la destreza, ¿verdad? Igual el mm -hmm. inglés. Tengo que ir practicando y a medida practico más y más, voy a ir perfeccionando el, la habilidad en el idioma. Mm -hmm. Es, es lo mismo. Lo que me dicen es de que en, el, en conversaciones que esté hablando con alguien que meta palabras o si puedo hacer la oración que la haga, me dice, pero alguien de confianza, ¿verdad? ¿vale? Uh -huh. Sí, sí, es importante. Es importante. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. Eso sería, teacher. Ok. Thank you, then, for staying. Gracias por quedarte a la sesión, entonces, uno a uno. Ok. Okay, thank Good you night. very much. Good <laughs> night and see you tomorrow. Okay, bye bye. Gracias. Okay, no problem. Bye bye. bye. bye.